so that's I'll... part two. <laughs> I, I have a, I have another topic for part three. Okay, let's get into it. All right. Got... I want to talk about deceased crab. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's been burning a hole in your soul for the past, <laughs> what, four years? You know what, though? It kind of has. Okay. I'll be, I'll be frank with you. All right, let's um, dish. Okay. Well, um, if you're talking about... I guess we have to get delve in a little bit into the whole history of the Let's Play kind of uh, thing. Well, I'll bring up Encyclopedia Dramatic. <laughs> well, you might as well. Um, uh, deceased... No, um... Deceased Crab is one of the uh, progenitors of Let's Play, along with, like, myself, Proton John, you, I guess. Uh, the adopter, I think, is the better word. That's the better word, yeah, thank you. Um, and uh, he started out with La Moana. Did you ever watch that? I did not. So it's a, fl- it's a flawed gem, I guess I'd put it. I think, it's, I think it was actually a pretty good Let's Play. He made, like, he made some things you'd now consider mistakes, where, like, La Moana is a very annoying game to play. It was and, like one of the first indie games, quote unquote, right? Yeah, so it was made by these three Japanese guys who really liked the MSX, and they made this like super hard game with like bad game design choices on purpose. And like as an example, um, there's an item in the game that freezes time, and you need to use it to like jump on a platform that's falling, you know, to make it up to a higher platform. You can probably imagine that mm-hmm. sort of scenario. Oh, but, I can. But the item pauses time for a minute forty real time. And you can't turn it off or anything. So if you miss the right timing on it, you really just got to sit there. And that's what happened with Let's Play? Yeah. Uh, twice. Oh, twice. Now, the thing is, the game was annoying enough, and Crab wasn't very, like, obnoxious or anything, so... Um, like, it's like one of those things, like, looking back on it now, you're like, eh, we should cut out that minute 40 both times, or, you know. That's but, what you've been thinking about for the past four years? <laughs> well, no, no, no. Why didn't you cut that? No, no, no. I mean, my Fucker! Brother... <laughs> that bastard calls I'll find a way to pin you if you wait. Just make a post, I dare you. <laughs> well, anyway, um, I don't remember the point of that story. But anyway, I liked the Lama Wanda Let's... No, I liked, I liked the Let's Play a lot, even with things like that in there. And I actually watched it twice, all the way through. Twice? Wow. Well, Lama Wanda looked like a really cool game, but one that I would not want to play myself. Okay, yeah, so yeah, that's that... what you mean. To that end, I think it was a perfect choice. Um, kind of like a Deadly Premonition, I think, falls in that category as well. Mm-hmm. I think things started to go bad for Crab around uh, Parodius. Um, not, not The person not, or the game? The game. Well, now, if you, there is a Gradius. Uh, you missed clone. a prime internet drama opportunity, my friend. <laughs> I know, yeah, right? Thousands of people unsubscribe from this podcast that no one's listening to. <laughs> Basically. But, um, so what happens is, uh, Deceased Crab, um, makes this Let's Play of, I think the game was Jikyuo Shiburi Parodius, I forget, some Japanese, whatever, it was one of the Parodius series for Super Nintendo. Oh, uh, yes, that game. <laughs> no, that <laughs> Everyone will remember that one. <laughs> right after Super Mario World, that's the one you Do you remember where you were when whatever the game you just said was Let's Play? <laughs> it's the Let's Play 9-11, for sure. <laughs> Everyone remembers it. <laughs> We were already at a September 11th joke on podcast episode 3. Hey, I held out for 25 minutes. <laughs> I think now we have to charge 99 cents for this podcast. Well, there's the explicit rating thrown on there. <laughs> there goes our viewership. <laughs> um, uh, where was I? Oh, no, so what he did was he did a thing where he um, he picked different Let's Players to play different characters from the game. And as an example, I, I played as I, I helped him out with his Let's Play, and I did Koitsu, who was a stick figure on a paper airplane type of thing. I kind of remember that, yeah. Yeah, and I had people guess with me, because you get multiple Koitsus on the same airplane, da-da-da-da. So, um, <laughs> what happened was, though, that when you try to coordinate all these different people on the internet, Crab had an update schedule, and we, my, myself especially, couldn't stick to it, you know? Sure. So, he kind of... I think he took the wrong th- lesson away from that, because after the Let's Play, um, he came out with another group kind of Let's Play of Knit Stories, and this time he only hit can selected people for the thread. Mm-hmm. And the shitty thing about something like that is you have, like, a message board format, because on something off a Let's Play, it's a message board, so everyone can post whatever, you know? Right. And if people like your Let's Play or like the game, they want to contribute things, too. And Crab was, like, explicitly telling them not to. 
And this all culminated in this guy, Captain Duck, who made his own knit story level and wanted to let's play it. And Crab wouldn't let him, but then Captain Duck decided to just post it anyway. To which Crab just kind of posted this big... Uh, I mean, it's um, kind of a legendary post. It is, yeah. It was, remove the video links. It's like, like get, get your thread hijacked the fuck out of here, period now, or something like that, period now, or something like that. Yeah, and he's like, you want to know the truth about your Let's Play, I'll, or your levels? I'll tell you the truth. They're amateurish knit story levels. They don't even <laughs> look anything professional. And he totally dissed this guy's, like, user-edited levels of this stupid little, like, freeware game. No offense to knit stories, but, you know, like... <laughs> Who get, it's like saying, like, your Super Meat Boy levels aren't fair at all. Like, who fucking cares, dude? I, so, I think that was kind of the beginning of the end for Crab. Yeah. I know Proteus, Proteus, the poster this time, got mad at him for a different reason. of dissing, uh, I think it was a D-Prisoner or some shit like that. Um, internet drama. Internet drama. I think this sort of culminated in the Tyrion 2000 thread. Oh, yeah, that was the last one, wasn't it? No, it wasn't. Oh, what? No, it wasn't. That's the post that made me the mod of Let's Play, but... <laughs> that, no, I remember it's that. Like, it was a setup. So, he, um... Crab also only posted ever on YouTube, no other video host, and this is back before, like, YouTube HD came into play. Yeah, many of you won't remember, YouTube used to have a ten-minute time limit, which, uh, much to the chagrin of many people. Not, well, eleven minutes, really. Yeah, well, truly eleven. Ten fifty-nine. Right. And, but what was really weird is that, um, it was just before H.264 really came into play, YouTube had one of the worst quality of all the video hosts you could use. Yeah. But Crab really liked it. Let me tell you about a thing called Google Video. <laughs> Which was really worse at the end of it, but whatever. Yeah, really pretty bad. But... Yeah, it was. This is back in the day when we didn't know what the fuck we were doing. We were yeah. posting on Vimeo and blah, blah, blah. 2006, 2007. Apparently, though, a lot of people really liked this Tyrion 2000 game. I'd never heard of it. I'd still never heard of it. So, um, but he only put it on YouTube, which kind of butchered the quality people felt of this, like, shoot 'em up And everyone trolled him, myself included. Um, <laughs> but mostly, no, I thought I, I thought what I said was really funny, because he was doing Let's Plays with this uh, female Let's Player, Madame Luna. Mm -hmm. And I just posted, like, so are you and Madame Luna boning or what? And, you know, because I'm from Jersey, and that's, like, how we say hello. Yeah, yeah. Uh, sure. You know, right. But, um... So basically, uh, the thread got gassed, and Crab started another one the next day, which I felt was kind of a bad move. And so, yeah. yeah. So basically, like, Lewis God, the mod at the time, the games mod, came in and was like, I don't really, and then one of the things he says, I don't really read Let's Play, and someone pointed out, like, yeah, I don't think any of the games mods do, so, you know, that's how I got to be the moderator there. And the reason that, um, I know it wasn't Deceased Crab's last one was because he posted a few others, and I, you know, tried to kind of keep this sort of middle ground where it's like, okay, don't just diss him because he's deceased crab. Like, at least give him a shot kind of thing. And it just wasn't working out. And then his last one was this Dr. Livingston game. And oh. I, I posted a thing like, hey, just, you know, don't fuck around. Just don't diss him just because he's deceased crab. At least try to watch it or whatever. And then Lewis God, the game squad, comes in and says, this thread sucks, which totally undermined what I just said. But... <laughs> But then Crab decided, was like, said to me, like, you know what, I think I'm just going to like hang out on YouTube and not post on SA. And I felt bad, because I'm like, you know, but to be frank, I was like, thank you, God. Because that made my job a lot easier. And, you know, to you know, give him a little bit of defense, he takes stuff in good humor, like when we kind of shit oh, yeah. on him a little bit. Like, he, he, he thought it was funny. I'm not, I'm not trying to, like, tell you this story to say, like, hey, deceased Crab sucks and you take shit seriously. It was just sort of like... Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. This is my, kind of my take on what happened there and stuff, you know? I, mm. I think, basically, I think he made that mistake in around the Knit Stories thread, and um, he's probably learned since then, and he's not a bad guy or anything like that. I just feel like that was the problem, and that's why SA sort of turned against him, mm -hmm. was kind of my feelings on that matter.